What's up guys, the snowman here and today's focus is on my favorite sport. I've got another soccer or football instructional video today. Uh, we're getting back to the basics with my soccer positions explained. So essentially just gonna go over some different positional terms in soccer, uh, terms like striker, fullback, wingback, just to name a few, explain what they are and their roles. Uh, we're also gonna go over how formations work. So for example, what does a 4-4-2 formation mean? Uh, what do those numbers stand for? So yeah, uh, going over positions and formations, and uh, let's jump into it right now. We'll begin by looking at some formations. If you didn't know, professional soccer is 11 players versus 11 on the field at one time. One of the most basic formations in the game of soccer is the 4-4-2 setup. So why is it called a 4-4-2 formation? Well, that's because we list formations according to the number of defenders, midfielders, and forwards in that exact order. Ignore the goalkeeper, defenders, then midfielders, then forwards. So you can see in the 4-4-2, for defenders, they play the furthest back of the outfield players. For midfielders, they appropriately play in the middle of the field. And then the two forwards, they play up the pitch and score most of the goals. Again, the 4-4-2 is extremely common throughout soccer. Some other common formations include the 4-3-3. With this one, obviously, you can see we took one of the midfielders and moved him or her up the field to become a forward. Three forwards in this formation provide some major firepower power in the attack. We also have the 5-3-2, which is gaining more popularity in the modern game. Uh, this one with five defenders, it can be a very versatile lineup if you have the right personnel, but coaches can set up their 10 players any way they want with these different lineups. My personal favorite formation is the 4-2-3-1. Uh, this setup was really popularized at the 2010 World Cup. Four defenders, and we actually split up the midfielders with this lineup. So two defensive midfielders, three attacking midfielders, and then one lone forward up front. Let's move on to some some positional terms and talk about defenders. Now, the first type of defender is the center back, also historically called the center half. They're set up right in front of the goalkeeper. Most formations employ a pair of center backs, and their job is to prevent the opposing forwards from scoring either through man marking or zonal marking. Uh, center backs are often the tallest, strongest players on the team. They also have to be good in the air, defending on corner kicks, as well as moving up the pitch on attacking set pieces. The sweeper is a position that isn't as popular anymore, but it's basically a more fluid version of the center back. So traditional sweepers play even deeper on the pitch than center backs, but they have a pretty similar job description. Uh, read the game from the back and try to avert danger, make tackles on the opposition. Uh, sweepers have become basically extinct in today's game though, because it's impractical to have one player play so much further back behind the other defenders because of the offside rule. And fullbacks are the next defensive position I want to go over. You can also refer to them as just the right back or the left back, but if you have a traditional four defender setup that the two on the outside are your fullbacks. Again, they're trying to prevent the other team from scoring first and foremost, uh, keeping opposing wingers outside of the penalty box and impeding crosses from getting through to the danger area. They're also trying to get down the flanks and join in the attack from time to time, but their main priority is still defending. Fullbacks are similar, but a little bit different than our next position, wingbacks. Wingbacks are seen in formations like a 5-3-2 or 3-5-2. Uh, more or less, wingbacks are outside defenders, just like fullbacks. However, they have a heavier emphasis on attacking. So more responsibilities advancing up the field and being adventurous, uh, helping the attack by whipping in crosses and making overlapping runs, providing width for the forwards. Wingbacks have to have great physical fitness because they're constantly running up and down the sidelines. And at this point, the term fullback is uh, gradually falling out of style because in the modern game, uh, fullbacks are becoming more offensive like the wingback. There's almost a blurring now between those two positions. Moving on to the midfielders, these players operate in the middle of the pitch and the first kind of midi is the defensive midfielder also known as the holding midfielder the center defensive mids are the players right in front of the center backs as you see here in the 4-2-3-1 formation uh, cdms as they're also called provide extra defensive protection they have to cover for defenders who are uh, making runs charging up the pitch they also do a ton of passing and directing from the center of the field just a bit more offensive then is the center midfielder their duties are split evenly between attack and defense i pulled up the 4-3-3 formation again so you can see where the center midfielder is set up. Uh, these players are very busy distributing the ball to 
to attacking players, making tackles. Great stamina is a must to be a center midi. Oftentimes, a game is dictated by which midfield is stronger, who can retain more possession, who can win the ball back more swiftly. Center midfielders are all around footballers. And we also have attacking midfielders back to the 4 2 3 1. It's the player in front of the defensive mids, flanked by wingers on each side. But center attacking mids are some of the most fun players to watch because oftentimes they have the creativity and flair to unlock defenses. They're some of the best dribblers, some of the best passers, and the best center attacking mids have supreme vision to pick out the final pass. Their primary role is to feed the forwards as well as get into the box and take shots on target too. Finally, let's talk about a couple different kinds of forwards. And for our 4-3-3, uh, these two forwards who are positioned out wide are referred to as wingers. The wingers are typically the fastest players on the pitch. They also possess excellent dribbling skills. Uh, their job is to drive up the wings and whip in crosses to center forwards. Wingers also may cut in and try to take on defenders in the hopes of manufacturing shots on target. Again, they spend most of their time out wide. It's all about supplying the other forwards to generate goal scoring opportunities. And then the striker or center forward is the other kind of attacking player. Strikers are always located the furthest up the pitch. Uh, they act as the focal point of the offense. Defense. The best strikers in the world are ones who are clinical at finishing because for them, success is largely based on how many goals they're scoring. It's vital for strikers to be able to score not only with their strong foot, but their weak foot and their head as well. Putting the goal in the back of the net is the name of the game. Uh, this is the one position that doesn't really have strict defensive duties. Strikers are just trying to score goals and to put the opposing defense under relentless pressure. And finally, we can't forget about the goalkeeper. Their job description is quite straightforward. Uh, try to stop the other the team from scoring by using their hands, their legs, or any other body part at their disposal. Uh, the only position who can use his or her hands while in the penalty box is the goalkeeper, and they typically move the least throughout a match, but positioning very important in blocking shots. It's always fun to see goalkeepers dive and make acrobatic saves. They're the last line of defense and the last position that we have to go over. All right, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video or found it informational, please subscribe to the Snowman Sports Media for more soccer content. Follow me on Instagram at, at snowmansportsmedia, and uh, thanks a lot, I'll be back real soon. Cheers.